guys, welcome out to the range. Today I wanted to show you something that I did a while back, and I've already done a video on it, but because social media has the memory of a goldfish, things have to be brought out from time to time. I did something called speed cuts, or gas pedal cut, or really any number of other names. It's those little cuts right there on the frame of the Glock. And what those cuts do is it gives you the ability to shelf your thumb against the gun, and it creates a lot of stability so that instead of basically when you shoot, most of us place our thumb here and pull the trigger. You notice how the gun skipped out of my grasp, right? But if I have something to shelf against and I drive my thumb into that, notice how the gun isn't jumping out of my grasp anymore. The gas pedal cuts create a shelving, uh, a portion to shelf your thumb onto and it imparts a bunch of stability to the front of the gun and it totally transformed how I how I felt uh, meaning the feeling of the gun in my hands for years I ran an APLC a light out on the front when you are running a light capable holster you kind of tend to have a lump in your pants and while uh, Bravo concealment made a really nice light bearing version of their torsion for me uh, it was actually a, a hand-pressed um, version, and it did a decent job of, um, of concealing the light. I'd also had some failures of the light, which turned out not to be Enforce's fault, and I will do a video on that in the near future. But basically, I thought it was a battery consumption issue. Turns out it wasn't a battery consumption issue. It was actually an Abner issue. Like I said, I'm going to do a dedicated video on this because Enforce deserves to have that video. But anyways... Uh, I have actually kind of grown to like shooting guns without lights on them. I just, the gun actually feels different. The moment of inertia of the movement of the gun is much lower because even though there's a very little amount of weight on the front of the gun, it actually does change how the gun tracks when you've got the, when you've got the weight out front. And this right here is what I needed to keep that gun from popping up on me. And it, um, I think, yeah, in fact, this, this video clip right here will actually show you. This was the very first time that my friend Daniel and I did this and watch my comment. Dude, that's just like having a light out front. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, it was a huge night and day. I had just come back from a, uh, from a class where we had done was it 1500 rounds uh, 500 rounds a day for three days and um, and it was I was astounded at how much different the gun felt halfway through that class my light took a dump on me my fault my light took a dump on me and I transitioned to my backup Glock 19 with a torsion a non light bearing torsion and finished off the rest of the class with it and did okay but I kept doing that skipping thing and um, talking with my buddy Daniel one night um, I think it was night number two and we were on the phone in the hotel and um, he said uh, he goes hey man try this out and so he says look up such and such a video and I looked it up and I said listen when I get back home we're gonna do this so he and I did this to our guns went out to the range a complete 180 on how the gun feels and because there's no light on the front it conceals very well especially in appendix carry so if you're looking for a lot of performance and all it really takes is these cheap little um, files that I bought and I think I got them from like Harbor Freight or something I mean they're very inexpensive uh, you, you basically take a credit card and you scrawl a line from here to here take your takedown lever off take your slide out of the equation and you cut very aggressively with the cutting edge of the file from one end of the sharpie mark to the other and you follow that line down very uh, in a very focused manner and then you start cutting in a planing fashion and you have to do this very slowly But you want a very distinct right angle. You don't want a, a rounded shelf You want a very distinct right angle so that you can shelf your thumb and it is because I'm a lefty It's on this side, but because I may find myself for whatever reason may be Shooting with the other hand. I have it on this side not to mention I tend to pass my pistols around to students uh, and um, not only students that I have here, but also fellow students when I go to classes, people want to, you know, people know me and they want to try the gun out and I'm happy to hand them to people. So this gun and also my backup gun are an identical copy of one another with the speed cut. And it has totally transformed how the, guns, how the, how the gun feels in the hand. 
If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll do my best to answer them. As always, I thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. Get those guns out and practice. Have a good one.